A prototype locomotive which paved the way for modern rail travel has gone on display in Nottinghamshire. The HST power car, designed in Derby, was the forerunner of today's Intercity 125 high-speed trains. After months of careful restoration, today it returned to its East Midlands roots, and Amy Harris was there. Thousands of us use high-speed trains every day, but few probably realise this pivotal form of transport began life in the East Midlands. This prototype was designed here decades ago. Now carefully restored, it's in Ruddington. We all take travelling around the UK at 125 mile an hour for granted. This was the beginnings of all of that, so it's really something we're celebrating. This power car was originally designed around 40 years ago in Derby and after a long stint on display in York, it's now making a welcome return to its East Midlands roots. It'll be permanently based here in Nottinghamshire. And to welcome it, many enthusiasts and its designer, Sir Kenneth Grange. I've hardly known this thing in the last 30 odd years. Um, so to come back and find it as pristine as we left it, as it were, in 1970 um, is quite a moving experience. To mark the occasion, the power car was coupled with a current train, the first time it's worked since 1976, a new lease of life for the prototype which revolutionised UK rail travel. Amy Harris, BBC East Midlands Today, Ruddington.